G'day, g'day, Nathan here from SEQH. Just want to show you an example of um, some freight that's come in and has been poorly lashed. Now look at this. Look at this. This we've got the beam here, and all this freight has actually pushed all the way back. So I'm just gonna sneak all the way down, and you'll look at this shocker. Okie dokie. All right. Now, down the bottom here, you see our dunnage. Now look at how far back this roller, these are on rolls. These aren't actually restrained in properly. And what's happened is as the, you know, when the, when the container's on the vessel, when the truck's um, stopping at a set of lights and so forth, when the container's in transit, this um, freight is obviously, you can see it's been moving back and forth. And just look at this, look at this here. All this free area here, because all these uh, H beams have actually um, uh, been pushed back and forth. So just crazy. Same as this one just here. Got this dunnage, and then all the way back, that's probably about a metre and a half, close to two metres, that the, um, these long skids have, um, have moved. Just crazy. So here's an example of what not to do, is uh, to not lash your gear when going containers. Extremely dangerous. Here's a second example I'm going to point out to you, which um, as you'll see down here, from the moving this has actually sheared the container and uh, we can now see uh, light. And you look at this gap, this gap in front is probably about one and a half metres where this load is um, shifting back and forth. So what we're going to do is put some cord lash in down the very back and then we're also going to put some um, uh, airbags down through the centre here, just so that this, uh, and also on the sides, um, just to make sure that this load is compact and can't move back and forth, side to side, etc. Not good.